today's episode of I am not a VFX artist, but I'm going to attempt to do VFX. I came across a video by Jesse Richards, who is a very talented VFX artist and video creator. I'm sure you've seen his videos on your feed at some point. And this is the video I'm going to attempt to recreate. Basically the concept is like a 3D iPhone game. Very cool. My guess is that he filmed this person in the grass or maybe just fully on a green screen and keyed him out or rotoscoped him out and basically masked him into the scene with the phone. Now I do have a basic understanding of After Effects, keying out green screen, masking, keyframing, but I have no clue how to do anything 3D. So I'm gonna keep everything on tripods and avoid tracking because that scares me and I'm not there yet. My concept is basically iPhone on a desk. You know how iPhone has those like focus modes. Hand will come in and click the work focus mode and then a tiny little version of me will appear out of the phone and I'm basically going crazy editing in the stew on my little desk. With that said, I think we're gonna need two shots for this, so let's go get those. I started by getting out my pop-up green screen. And every time I open this, my life flashes before my eyes. I stuck the green screen behind my desk and lit up my scene from the right side with one Amaran 60X light. I've been loving this light. I've been using it for a bunch of my recent shoots. It's really quite small, but it's bright enough to literally light up this whole scene. I can also change the color temperature and it takes MPF batteries so I can stick one of those on and it's even more portable. Angled my camera to shoot slightly overhead. Then I sat at my desk and edited for about 20 minutes to get enough for a quick time lapse. The phone scene had my phone on the desk and eyeballed what I thought the angle should be. But I redid this a bunch of times with different angles because my brain struggled quite a bit with the perspective of it. Then I had my hand click onto the phone and select the focus mode. Now that we have those, we're gonna bring them into After Effects and do some magic, hopefully. I am a VFX master. I just finished editing and I went kind of crazy and I just tried a bunch of things. Here's what I ended up with. I will now be taking VFX work. My hourly rate is $1 an hour because the quality is low. I'm actually not upset with how this turned out. I'm proud that I had some random VFX knowledge somewhere in the old noggin. There were a few points where I was frustrated because I couldn't quite get the perspectives. It's not meant to look hyper-realistic. It's kind of meant to look a little like whimsical, but it's a good starting point. I'm gonna break down my whole post process, but you VFX artists out there are going to cringe because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm sure there are better ways to do most of these things. So here is what I did. I started off by putting a basic mask around the desk, then keyed out the green screen, went ahead and lined up my desk scene onto the phone scene and made sure that the perspective matched up added a basic color grade to both scenes. Then I keyed out the floor, but didn't love how that looked, so I added a shape layer on the phone screen, added noise to that shape layer and made the color black, and lowered the opacity so that you could see the phone screen coming through. But then I didn't love that either, so I brought back some more of the floor and just changed the blend mode so that it was still see-through. I added some shadows to the legs of the chair by duplicating the desk shot, moving the position, and then changing the blend mode of the legs. I did the same for the mini me desk so that the shadow hits a bit of the real desk. I wanted to add something to make it seem like the desk was really popping out of the phone, so I created a shape layer that outlined the work icon and added some glow to it. Then with some keyframes, I animated the desk so that it would appear from the bottom of the phone, created a mask so that you don't see the desk until it appears from out of the work icon animated my work icon shape layer to spread out as the mini desk pops out, which gives it a bit of a futuristic look. Added motion blur to everything, as well as adding a cross blur to the mini desk as it pops out and pops back in. Added a Gaussian blur across the whole scene to create a tilt shift slash depth of field kind of look. Then once all of that was done, I keyframed the whole scene to add camera movement. And again, here is our final result.
So here are my takeaways from creating something like this. Really try and line up perspective while filming. This was by far the trickiest thing that I had to do. Perspective is really important to sell the effect. Pay attention to lighting and shadows. This, this one, this one got me. You want your source of light to be coming from the same direction. It'll save you a lot of time in post because then you'll have to recreate shadows in post, which is not fun. And you wanna think about how your lighting interacts with different elements. So I wish that I had thought about how the phone screen would light up the desk from underneath. If I were to redo this, I would put lights underneath my desk, shining up and lighting up all that so that it makes sense with the phone scene. And then little details like adding motion blur, shadows, matching the colors, adding glow, these sort of things when compositing your images together, just up the level of quality. Doing this has made me even more appreciative and impressed by all you VFX artists out there. I will continue on this VFX journey because it's fun, although stressful. It is fun. And I hope that you learned a little, a little something here and there. If there's a VFX video that you want me to recreate, send it to me. I will attempt. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.